Multi-signature is a process by which a group of individuals can democratically control and vote on how the funds within a wallet are spent. In essence, this process somewhat resembles a safe with multiple locks on it, and unless the majority of people each agree to use their key to unlock the safe, the funds within it will remain untouched. Multi-signature addresses can be created in both Core and Electrum, however for this tutorial I will be using Electrum as the process is far simpler. Download links as always can be found in the description of this video. Start by opening up Electrum and navigating to File, then New slash Restore. This will open up a small box where we can name the new wallet we are going to create. For simplicity, I'm going to call this one Multi Signature Wallet. Click Next and we are now given the choice of wallet we are looking to create. So select Multi Signature and then Next. We now need to select the number of key holders which is currently limited to a maximum of 15 and the number of keys that would be required to send money from the wallet. For this, I'm going to be creating a three key wallet which requires two signatures. Click next and it will now present us with our seed, which will allow us to recover this new wallet in case of computer failure or loss. So be sure to copy it down and keep it safe, because now when we proceed it is going to ask us for the seed as it is essentially going to double check that we have indeed backed it up. Once that is done we now just have a couple more steps, those being we need to create a new password, which I am going to be calling password, and finally the keys. At the top you will see your master public key with two empty boxes below it for the other two key holders. We now just need to send them a copy of our master public key and in return have them send us a copy of theirs so we can input them. Once we have all the keys we can now finally proceed and it will begin generating our new multi-signature wallet for us. Just to note, one main difference between a normal and a multi-signature Litecoin address is that while normal addresses begin with the letter L, multi-signature addresses begin with the number 3. This is as so people do not get them mixed up. Now that our new multi-signature wallet has been created, we can now start sending funds over to it. And as you can see here, I have already sent over one Litecoin just to illustrate this. So now that we've got some funds, we need to know how to spend them, and there are a few ways in which we can do this. So, for the first, we need to make sure we have the Cosigner Pool plugin enabled. To check this, head over to Tools, then Plugins. As we can see here, I already have it enabled, but if you don't, you need to make sure it is, otherwise this will not work. We can now close this, select Send, and just begin filling out the usual information, so the address and amount. When we then hit Send and enter our password, it will inform us that we are signing the transaction, and a new box will then appear with further information. Here, we can see that the transaction has one out of two required signatures, and by clicking Send to Cosigner, the next time another key holder opens their wallet, they will be notified and asked to sign the transaction. By doing so, it will then have the required amount of signatures and the transaction will be sent. The second way is to save the partially signed transaction and send a copy of it, or the QR code which can be found here, to the other key holders, so that they can load it up into their client and sign it that way. In order to load a transaction that someone has sent, we have to navigate to Tools, Load Transaction, and then depending on what they sent us, we either need to select From File or From QR. Now just open the file and click sign. It will prompt us for our password and once we have entered it, a new broadcast button will appear. As soon as we click broadcast, the transaction will then be sent off. Now all we have to do is wait for it to confirm and that is how you send a transaction from a multi-signature wallet.